So one of my professors used to say you can tell how much someone knows about structural engineering based on their understanding of shear and moment diagrams, right? So this week we get to take a look at mechanics of materials where guess what? Shear and moment diagrams are number one tops on the list here, right? And this is from the NCS Civil uh, FE spec. And shear moment diagrams are so, so important because what they do is they kind of define the, the shear and moment that a beam needs to do, uh, be able to resist, right? So this is this is where we look at stresses and strains, deformations. We look at combined stresses, principal stresses. We, we also have to understand elastic versus plastic deformation. But in each of these, there are different problems that you've probably done at some point in your you know tenure as a uh, student going through a statics and strength materials class. So what does that look like? Well, it looks like obviously shear and moment diagrams, right? And it, sometimes this isn't completely shear and moment diagrams. Sometimes you have to solve for a moment at, at a specific point, okay? It also looks like stress, right? So do you remember like P over A, like for axial stress? Do you remember like MY over I for bending stress, right? And what that does is it gives us tension and compression, right? So this is where we need to know, well, is there on the bottom of this beam, is this tension or is this compression, right? And how is that compared to the materials, maybe yield strength or ultimate strength? And what does that look like, right? And then we also have to be able to understand deformations. So this comes in the form of that formula. Remember it, PL over AE. That's just one of them. That's axial deformation. So how much this thing gets longer or shorter based on which way the force is going, whether the, the member's in tension or compression, right? And when you look at this, right, you also have to understand combined stresses where you might not just have axial stress, you might also have bending stress. And when you combine those, there's additional effects that you have to take into consideration. All right. And all of that is kind of gets compared against the elastic, you know, yield strength of this material that we're looking at, whether it's steel or aluminum, right? But typically we're looking at some sort of elastic, linear elastic. This is kind of like the rubber band deformation. You pull it and it comes right back. The elastic deformation versus elastic or, or versus plastic where you pull it and go past the yield point and all of a sudden you're in that yield plateau. Remember the yield plateau where the, per the deformation is now permanent right so plastic permanent deformation okay elastic comes right back okay but these are the pieces that you need to be able to understand and really it all starts back with those shear and moment diagrams understanding the moment applying these formulas understanding axial stress understanding tension and compression using material properties to understand how these members actually uh, behave, right? So this is something that becomes super important when you start to get into designing in a structural system. All right. So there'll definitely be some problems. If you want to take a look at some sure moment diagrams, I got a playlist all together for you. There's some more videos on stress strain deformation that you can take a look at, or you can feel free to hit the subscribe button. All right. So I hope this helps. And if you look, if you want more videos on these topics, feel free to uh, take a look around. All right. But until next time, keep working hard. Moving onward and upward.